So I wanted to give you an example of how to draw a flow net in a kind of a step-by-step -step fashion. So I took this example from the homework. It looks like uh, it's an old antique picture, but uh, just the way the the um, photograph took uh, worked out. I, um, I I took a picture of this with my camera, and then I uh, drew in some streamlines. And I started from this side and drew them in, and then this side, and so on. And then I went and divided up this stream tube into um, with equal potentials to get roughly the same ratio. And then I'm going to extend these equal potentials out, like so. And as I draw it along, I I curve it to make uh, make it cross uh, the each is streamlined in a perpendicular fashion and I extend it across and then this is the first uh, attempt at the um, the flow net and so uh, we can see some problems if we follow a stream tube along we have roughly the same ratio of width to length until we get here and then it's much too long and now it's much too um, too wide and this one is even worse uh, so that's a problem uh, we need to change it and so here's what I did this line and uh, each one of the streamlines I'm going to draw them I'm going to draw this inward oops like that so this line I'm going to draw in a new line streamline there 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 and then I'll go and add a couple more right here. So I redrew all the streamlines except for this one. And I did them in a way that is going to make the spacing between the streamlines wider because that's what I need to, to do that because of the ratio problem. Now I redraw the equal potentials. And so there are the equal potentials. I drew it along and I, I just had to go and make the equal potentials perpendicular to the streamlines. So here's the new streamline and here's the new equal potential. And it curves along like that. And um, this is the new uh, streamline. This is the new streamline and then this is the new equal potential. This is uh, also the equal potential redrawn. And then I go and I erase. And yeah, I guess it looks like this is the new one right here. So then I erase them, erase the old ones, and then I go and and fill in the the, the erased gaps. So this is the, after the first iteration, and what you can see is you trace along the stream tube here. The ratio is a lot better uh, along this one. That looks that looks pretty good. Uh, this one, yeah, not so bad. And I can see this one, I actually didn't extend it, so it needs to extend all the way. I uh, still have a little bit uh, of some problems right here, so we need to address that. The other thing that I'm looking at is to see whether they cross and are perpendicular. So they look pretty good, and I also should check out the edges. So all of these come uh, to the edge and are perpendicular. This one doesn't. This one actually should curve start curving right about here and curve up like that so it reaches the edge um, and perpendicular. This is just the intermediate step and so it's, it's okay for, for now but I'll need to correct that next. So um, this is uh, headed in the right direction then I go and um, uh, well here I redrew that uh, equal potential and now it is perpendicular and it comes over here and see how it hits the no flow boundary it, it's not going to hit this equipotential boundary right here and so that's a bit of an improvement and uh, try it again and get a little bit better I'm not quite sure what the difference is but now uh, I'm going to go and iterate again and I, I see a problem here where I need to um, this is this is getting a little bit too uh, short. This one's too short compared to these, so I need to get it a little bit wider. And then I have this one that's really long, so I'm going to put in another equal potential right here. So I try moving the equal potentials here, 
and I draw this new one in and I I draw the um, well I guess I'm I draw the the new set of streamlines and then new set of eco potentials so let's see if we compare them to the previous this is where we started and so this is where we started and we're gonna oops we're gonna draw the new set in like that so we go from here to here here to here here to here so draw all of those at once and then I went and redrew these eco potentials so they're perpendicular this was the old one and you see it's not perpendicular there but here it is so it comes like this and then it'll come out and curve like so and then I erase them erase the old ones and this is my next version so you can see a little bit better we put in this streamline or this equal potential here so now it's looking looking a lot better uh, right as we get close to this boundary still have a little bit of some ratio issues we go along the stream tube it gets a little bit uh, it, it's elongate here about 1.5 in this direction to 1 in this direction and you can see here this is about one to one so that's not quite right the streamlines are going to need to come in a little bit and the eco potentials are going to need to come out so I redraw it and I'm going to go and bring the streamlines together like this so there's the new streamlines there's a new one there's a new one there's a new one, there's a new one. So they're coming together, and then the eco potential goes from here to here. Well, looks like so. We start with that. We go here. Yeah. So this is what we start with, then we draw in these lines and these lines, and then we erase it. I'm, I'm losing track of what direction I'm going. Okay, so this is now the, the, the second iteration since we've had this new equal potential in. You can see the uh, ratio is getting better here, it's getting better here, and we try it again. Here is the, the new version of the eco potential or the streamline and the new version of the eco potential drawn in to be perpendicular. And then we erase that and it's getting a bit better. And so we we finalize it up here um, and redraw in that streamline. And then this is the final version. And what I do to check it is I go along these stream tubes and I check the ratio that to that and it looks pretty good pretty consistent and there there's there some minor differences but it looks pretty good and then I check and see whether it's perpendicular streamline equal potential over to the boundaries the boundaries are looking good um, we don't have any uh, equal potentials touching these boundaries all of the streamlines started in equal potential curve around reach an equal potential so this looks like it's uh, it's pretty reasonable um, version of the flow net and then here's the one we just did I also tried working on some of the other ones and this is my um, my version of this flow net and here's one where we have a equal potential right here and a point and so this would be a river this could represent a river and then a, a well so the flow you can see is coming in and converging on this well and the eco potentials are um, wrapping around this point point. and you can see as we go along these eco potentials the ratio stays roughly the same one of the characteristics of a point here uh, a, a, a point sink is that as we follow a stream tube along the ratio stays the same and because the streamlines are converging the eco potential spacing uh, in in this direction gets smaller
So there's another uh, there's another um, flow net that you have to do for homework where there's a point in the middle of a circle, a well in the middle of an island, and so the flow will converge on that and make sure that when you draw that you take care that the that, that this ratio is maintained and what you'll see is that the equipotentials get more closely spaced as you get closer and closer to that well at the center of the island.